remember in dominating or saying this is right or this is wrong. So we have to take into consideration culture so strongly. Permaculture is a revolution disguised as gardening. I first went to the decan about three years ago when the drought was severe. People were selling or giving away their plow and Permaculture is, first of all, a philosophy of caring for nature, caring for people, and creating abundance through not using chemicals, not using pesticides, not using fungicides. So what we do is we use nature as our guide. The word permaculture, short for permanent agriculture, was coined by Bill Mollison and David Holmgren in the late 1970s. Permaculture design emphasizes natural patterns of landscapes, functions, and species assemblies. The permaculture designer determines where elements in an agricultural, ecological, and social system should be placed so they can provide maximum benefit to the local environment and local community. Neutral pH. Okay. The natural way to change pH is through organic matter. In the process, permaculture also seeks to minimize waste, human labor, and energy input by building systems that maximize benefits through high synergy between design elements. Permaculture draws from several disciplines, including organic farming, agroforestry, integrated farming, sustainable development, and applied ecology. For observing nature, Permaculture draws on the nutrient cycling of the soil, the plants, and also all the gases within our atmosphere. So it's not really just one cycle, it's all cycles of nature. So we're designing solutions to improve, to increase, and to solve the current issues of today regarding soil degradation, um, food insecurity, and renewable energy applications over the use of fossil fuels. We take five units of energy to produce one unit of food, and when there's no more fossil fuel, then we don't have any more food, and we're going to run out of fossil fuel. So that's why a global challenge is to reduce our fossil, fossil fuel usage through renewable energy alternatives and technologies. Permaculture design is also a regenerative, restorative process of healing land that has been degraded due to earlier practices which were heavily reliant on chemical fertilizers. By regenerating and restoring ecologies, permaculture also restores people and communities. We grow soil and that is the, what permaculture design systems main objective is to do. If we don't have healthy soil, we don't have healthy people, and then we don't have healthy plants. So therefore, how can the system of the, the ecosystems be sustainable for the long run? To design healthy soil, you need carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, water, and sunlight. And through the combination of those elements in the correct proportions and correct amounts, using the right timing and the right cycles, and observing nature, we can speed up the process, whereas traditionally soil can take over 500 years to grow half an inch of soil, whereas in permaculture we can design using various systems of composting a uh, cubic metre of soil, or even more within 14 to 18 days. So while permaculture relies on ecological patterns, it also attempts to speed up and intensify natural processes through sound but sustainable scientific methods. In this way, it is an active process that works with rather than against biodiversity and ecology. The difference between a monoculture and a permaculture garden is that we have a multitude of species and varieties of herbs, fruits, plants and spices. And what these do is they work together in a synergistic effect to create soil which is alive and healthy which then not only produces a greater yield but also reduces pest and disease from coming into the gardens and it builds up the plant's natural immune system so therefore they can ward off these 
prevalent diseases and infestations of insects which occurs in monocultures. The main thing is, is that with permaculture it's a way of thinking first and so once you actually develop a permaculture way of thinking then your life can become more self-sustaining and much more empathetic towards the way the world is today and instead of being a problem-based sort of negativity towards that there's nothing that can be done, permaculture actually offers solutions. The ideas are spreading throughout India with students. He alone is working with 120 villages in the decade and the students in total would be working in more than a thousand villages. They have had a tremendous effect upon both the health of the people and their, their spirit, the way they feel about it. He alone is working with 120 villages in the decade and the students in total